Every wave in the ocean creates a tiny rumbling of the earth. Those rumblings are so small, they're almost undetectable. But they are being picked up by a global network of seismographs. Of course, when you think of seismographs, you think of the instruments used to measure earthquakes. But they are sensitive enough to measure the pounding of waves along the ocean floor. These um, seismographs have been running in many cases for three to four decades. A pounding that, according to Rick Astor, bump and bump is getting stronger. So what we're measuring is the general increase in large scale storm and wave activity in the ocean over the decades. Astor heads up the geosciences department at Colorado State University. He also led this study. He says the seismographs show the waves are getting stronger, their energy increasing about a quarter of a percent every year. A quarter percent per year doesn't sound like much, um, but if you accrue that over decades, 30 years, for example, um, there is on average about an 8% increase in wave energy. The concern with that increase? Well, for one, it means a significant increase in coastal erosion, which will impact coastal communities. But it also means a significant increase in the size of storms. Since waves are increasing in size, so must the storms that produce the winds that cause those waves. And that, Astor says, is a sign of a warming climate. Uh, one consequence of global warming is there's warmer oceans, there's more water vapor in the atmosphere, there's hotter air temperatures, and all those things uh, from time to time tend to lead to larger storms. Storms that history shows will keep getting stronger as our climate keeps getting warmer. Astor says he hopes people will learn from his study, perhaps shaken a bit toward change. It certainly uh, adds one more piece to the to the story telling us that we really have to work uh, to manage uh, the climate crisis. Keely Chalmers, Nine News. And we have Keely with us now to explain a little bit more. I mean, yeah. we've already seen some pretty powerful storms here in Colorado. It's hard to think how much stronger they can get with this. Absolutely. We talk about the water vapor in the air, the stronger storms, and we're already seeing those storms yeah. getting stronger, and they will continue. I think what's interesting about this story, and I, why I loved this story, was just that idea of the seismographs. I think sometimes when you talk about climate change, it gets a little overwhelming and you don't know, you know, where is it going? Mm -hmm. This is a simple device that we all heard of. We think right. about earthquakes mm -hmm. and it's just showing us one more, as he said, one more sign that there are things that are changing little by little, mm -hmm. but over the decades they add up. And here's one thing saying, hey, listen, this is showing that our waves are getting stronger. Yeah. Our storms are getting stronger. Listen up. And you have well, to maybe make a change. Thing, and I yeah. like how you broke that down. We're landlocked here, but this is impacting our storms yeah. too. This is impacting all of us. So we right. all need to pay attention. Yeah. And I was, as I was watching that, I was thinking, you know, shaken, not to be scared of shaken, mm -hmm. but just shaken into, hey, let's do some little action here yeah, and there. Exactly. Maybe it inspires you to do a small step or something to help out. Well, Keely, that was a great story. Thank Thanks you so much. That.